Hello everyone! Greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I am the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. Guys, uh, before we jump into our topic, I want to remind you that we have a podcast uh, that we host together with our executive director, Katerina Romaninka, and I strongly recommend you to go there and to listen to our last episodes and especially to listen to our episode devoted to compliments. Just today, uh, I have received two compliments and one was like really weird. As you can see, I'm wearing yellow today, so I have heard two compliments today. One is like, oh wow, you look uh, like a sunshine in this shirt, and another, oh wow, you look like a chicken. And to be honest, I didn't know how to react to it. Well, a chicken in a sense that uh, I'm too yellow or I look bad. And the lady, it was a lady, who has given me this compliment that you look like a chicken. She meant well. Uh, she wanted to compliment uh, my sweater. She wanted to compliment the color, but um, the outcome, it was like plain awkward. So I strongly recommend you to listen to our podcast devoted to worst and best compliments that you can give to a Ukrainian lady. Because I'm sure you know that compliments are a huge part of the culture of courtship in Ukraine. And today I want to talk about a very important topic. I want to talk about building realistic dating expectations. I know that usually men try to skip this topic because uh, like every second interview that uh, I get with a potential client male or female, they claim that, oh, I have totally realistic dating expectations and I'm a blast to be with, you know, like other people like me and everybody wants to date me because I have this wonderful personality. Sometimes a gentleman uh, claim that, oh, I get so well with younger people because I'm this college professor and all my students love me, so it will be a piece of cake for you to match me with a much younger woman. I'm sure you know such people. They all claim that uh, they are so nice, they have such wonderful personalities, and they don't look their age. And usually when you ask such a person, if you are so fantastic, for sure somewhere there, there is a line of people who are willing to date you. How come you are still single if you are so perfect? And usually they tell you something that, oh, I just don't want to settle for less and I'm looking for my perfect partner who will match all my criteria or I just have high standards. Svetlana, you know, I'm not like your other clients. I'm not like this other American man. I know what women want and usually it is a red flag for me that it will be very hard, extremely hard to work with this person to manage his dating expectations. Well, you know such people and usually they are popular and attractive only in their own imagination. So usually when I hear statements like, oh, everybody wants to date me and it will be so easy for you to match me, well, um, in 95% cases, uh, this person tries to hide his insecurities behind this fake super confidence or he tries to act like he's this choosy guy who can be picky. His statement that I just won't settle for less usually translates as I'm so insecure and scared that she will say no to me, that she will say that uh, you're not attractive to me or you're too old or you're not tall enough to me, that I choose to be the first one to say no and to dismiss this potential match. Anyway, if you want to build truly realistic, healthy dating expectations and attract and choose the right lady with whom you can really build healthy, lasting relationship, it is important to keep in mind the four following points. First, there will be people who will find you attractive and there will be people who will find that you are not good enough for them. And it is okay. The trick is to actually focus on those people who find you attractive and who can choose you back for all the right reasons. There is no sense losing after someone you can't have. Uh, well, it is just a waste of your time and energy. Uh, you went out with her for whatever reason. Uh, she claims that uh, there is no chemistry, which usually translates that uh, you are not good enough for her. Thank her for the date and move on. There will be people who will choose you back 
for all the right reasons. Even if she is the youngest among your matches or, in your opinion, she is the hottest, but for whatever reason she has not chosen you back, well, there is no sense to try to become someone who can reach her level of expectations. Because pretty often it is impossible to reach those level of expectations. Because she has decided that you are too short for her, or you are too old for her, or your eyes are not green enough for her. So there is no much sense to work your ass off trying to become someone you are not. Guys, keep in mind, if she is very attractive, there will be competition. I'm not talking right now about a situation that uh, we introduce one uh, female client to numerous male clients and they have to compete over this woman. No, we don't do it. We don't want to put our male clients into this situation. But if a lady is uh, physically attractive and she takes a great care of her looks, well, she has won this uh, genetic lottery and she's just naturally very attractive. Trust me, she knows about it. Why? Uh, because other males, they show attention and interest in her. At her work, uh, when she was in college, uh, when she is on dating sites. If she is single and she wants to build a relationship, for sure she is looking around and she goes out on different dates and she can compare how she feels on different dates. Yes, she can compare the level of attractiveness of a man and if you haven't been dating for a while or you have never been dating, and for example, you know that you are naturally shy and a bit awkward, or for example, you are 15 years older, well, um, you have to think carefully. Will you be able to stand out among your other suitors? Do you really want to compete for her attention? Are you sure you can do it? Uh, are you sure it will work well for you? Guys, keep in mind that it is totally unrealistic to be willing to meet someone who is super hot, but she has zero understanding that she is attractive. Well, she is not uh, living on an island, so for sure she knows how men react to her. And for sure she knows the power of her looks and she wants to use it. She wants to use it and to choose the best male, in her opinion, uh, who will become her partner. And there is nothing wrong with that. If it makes you feel better, well, beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder and there always will be a man who will dismiss the girl you find most attractive. Well, he will dismiss her as not attractive enough or after getting to know her better, he will think that she doesn't tick this or that boxes. So please think if you are ready for competition, what are your competitive advantages? The fact that you are just so attracted to her looks is not a competitive advantage. Over the last two years we have been working with four gentlemen whom you can call not very tall. They were about 1 meter 70 centimeters tall, which is not very tall for a man, let's be honest. And all these men, they knew that they were not tall and they knew that usually women find a taller man more attractive and uh, usually women want to date someone who is 1 meter and 80 centimeters and taller. But these guys, they were okay with it. They knew that uh, there are the strong qualities that they have. For example, successful career, a great personality. And really, these guys, they all knew how to entertain a woman on a date with a nice joke, with a very unique compliment how to bring nice flowers, how to wow a lady with an interesting compliment, with an interesting reply, with an interesting text message. And well, these guys, they were okay with the fact that not all women will find them attractive, pretty much because of their highs. And uh, they were okay with this fact. Well, if she doesn't want to date him because she finds him short after the date, because she can't truly appreciate his strong qualities and these strong qualities are not enough for her, well, it's her problem. He will move on. Uh, these four clients of ours, uh, they all were very smart about their dating strategy. To meet women, to see which women can truly appreciate their strengths, with which women there will be a strongest mutual interest and attraction, and then picking one lady with whom this attraction is the strongest and uh, which lady is actually choosing him for all the right reasons. And of course, uh, she has to tick all the main boxes, has all the main qualities that he is looking for in a lady. For example, desire to have kids or the level of her education. And we got all these clients into relationship. One of these gentlemen just got engaged. At the same time, we have been working with two gentlemen. They were over 1 meter and 85 centimeters. So one can clear 
claim it must be easy to match someone tall, someone traditionally handsome. Well, actually, these two gentlemen are still single. Why? Both these gentlemen said that it is enough to just show up on a date and he doesn't have to do much, like courting a woman, trying to win her attention. They have dismissed this competition. So how to build realistic dating expectations? Keep in mind that there will be people who will be willing to date you and people who won't find you good enough. The trick is to concentrate on people who are open to date you, who can choose you for all the right reasons, and then among these people you can choose whom you find most appropriate, with whom the feeling is the strongest, is truly mutual. Second, stop looking for insta-love or so-called butterflies in the stomach. Guys, a sparkle on the first date is so overrated. Actually, I would be suspicious if on the first date I was thinking that, oh, everything this person in front of me is saying is just perfect. Well, I would think, am I romanticizing this guy just because I find him hot? Well, I definitely should go out with him again to try to see if we really have this attraction, if we really have much in common. Guys, usually the first date lasts like two, three hours. You can fall in lust during these two or three hours if, for example, you haven't been out for a while and you haven't been in a relationship for a while, but falling in love, like really, you hardly know this person. Guys, two, three hours is definitely not enough to see if you have much in common, if your long-term goals align, if you're on the same page about relationship, about money, about desire to have or not to have kids. Two, three hours it's really not enough. You have to spend more time together, you have to interact together in different situations, you have to spend some time uh, not only in the restaurant while you are having a fancy date, go out, uh, try to talk on phone, try to spend more time together. Usually two, three dates is a good indicator to see if this acquaintance can lead to something more. Guys, chemistry can build and should be built. You have to spend time together to really get to know each other, to find out more qualities that you actually like about the lady in front of you and let her find out more qualities about you to like. Usually when there is so-called love at first sight, when the gentleman claims that, oh, I like her, she is the one after knowing her for two hours, Hours, usually either it is very short-lived or it is one-sided. 3. Stop overthinking it. Have fun and let it go. Guys, you are on a date. Try to have fun, to enjoy yourself and make sure your date is enjoying herself too. Stop trying to read more in her every word or every move. Okay, she didn't tell you that she wants to have kids right on the first date. It doesn't mean that she doesn't want to have them. Perhaps she just finds that uh, the first date is not an appropriate time to ha discuss having babies. Or, for example, she didn't bother to show you the photo of her kids on the first date. It doesn't make her a bad mother. Some people are just more private. Or, for example, uh, you want to see her tomorrow, but she tells you that she is busy and suggests to meet on Wednesday. It doesn't mean that she is not interested. Maybe she really just has plans for tomorrow and she made them beforehand. Same applies to holding hands, kissing. Some people find it appropriate to hold hands and to be this touchy on the first date. Some people need more time and they are more reserved. So you have to spend more time with the lady to find out uh, what type she is. Maybe she feels that uh, kissing on the first date is a big no-no and she plans to kiss you on the date number three or four. She wants to get to know you better. We all are different and we all have our own dating expectations. It is important to build healthy and realistic dating expectations. Tip number four. Don't forget that not only the man is choosing, but the lady has to choose you back. I think I have repeated it so many times in numerous videos that the lady has to choose you back and it doesn't make much sense to lose after someone who is not choosing you back. Because pretty often the gentleman claim that, oh, she's perfect, she is the one just because he has spent three hours with her and he believes she is hot enough. And the lady gives us the feedback that, okay, the date was kind of mediocre. First of all, I don't find him like very hard. He's like, okay, but not a Mr. Handsome. And also I was bored to death because I had to do most of the talking or vice versa. I couldn't say a word because he was talking all the time and I didn't get his jokes at all. So it is important not only to uh, be full of yourself on a date thinking, oh, is she hot enough for me or not? 
to try to actually get to know a lady in front of you and to try to sense if she likes you. Which kind of returns us to the tip number one. There will be people who will find you attractive and who will be interested in dating you and there will be people who won't find you attractive and won't be interested in proceeding. The trick is to concentrate on those people who show interest in you. She didn't like you and if uh, she gives a reason why she's not interested in going out with you again, for example, she tells your matchmaker that she felt bored and she didn't enjoy the date at all, well, if she's just one person, who knows, perhaps your personalities are just too different and your sense of humor is different. So you really shouldn't overthink it. She's just one person and it is okay that not all people will get your jokes and will find a conversation with you interesting. But if there has been three women and they all have given the same feedback that they were bored and they are not interested because of it, either you are really a boring date or you have to start looking for another age group or another type of women. I remember there was this guy and he has reached out to us uh, I think like several months ago and he claimed uh, he is interested only in ladies who are like 15, 20 years younger than he was and he was 57 and he said it was totally a piece of cake for him, not a problem at all to get dates with much younger women. Pretty much he used Tinder uh, but the problem was like after having two or three dates in Ukraine, once he returned back home to the United States, all these women magically lost interest and were not responding to his messages. I honestly told him that in my opinion the age gap of 15 to 20 years was too big for him. Well, I have talked to him in person and he did look his age. So he didn't look bad for his age, but he did look 57. He was divorced with several kids and he was not rich and famous. He didn't have this blue sign on Instagram as you call it. So he was just an ordinary 57 years old man uh, with an ordinary job. So he was not a Johnny Depp or a Brad Pitt. So why on earth would ladies who are like 15, 20 years younger than he was choose him back? What should be wrong with them? I can imagine that um, there are ladies who find it uh, fun and find it okay to go out, to hang out with a guy who is from another country to have some sushi, to watch a movie, to spend uh, two or three dates with him knowing that he will return back home and they will never see him again. And he was a gentleman so he was footing all the bills. So of course there were ladies who were like 15, 20 years younger who saw that okay, we have met on Tinder, we had some fun, this is it. But these ladies, they were not looking at him as a boyfriend material. For them, he was old and this is why they have lost interest right after he has returned back home. Of course, this guy uh, said that I know nothing about dating and all these women, they wanted to date him, but for whatever reason, they were disappearing. And he was repeating this same scenario for several years. And I assume for like several more years, he can still continue going out on these meaningless dates and pretty much he will get same results. Uh, women will agree to go out with him on the first and second date and after two or three dates they will disappear. They will lose interest because simply they don't see him as a boyfriend material. So what can he change? He can change his strategy. He can start looking for women who can actually choose him back and see him as a boyfriend material. This gentleman, uh, he was quite easygoing, quite pleasant to talk to. So if he really tried to court a woman properly, he could aim for someone who is like five five, seven, maybe even ten years younger. But in his opinion, he would date a single mother only if she is like very hot, like Megan Fox hot. Because he is this alpha male, he went on so many dates with much younger women. Well, you went on two dates and this was it. And all these women, they were losing interest. Pretty much you were a one night meal for them. Guys, I hope you understand that I am just being honest with you in this video and I hope this video will help you build realistic dating expectations. I hope it will help you attract only the right people who will truly appreciate you and choose you for all the right reasons. I want to wish you love, Svetlana Mukhar, especially for Diola.com from Kharkov, Ukraine.